His first name may have been Arthur, but he authored a soundtrack widely known across the Carolinas. The list of musical accomplishments are long, wide, and deep. Among them are his classic guitar boogie and the hit song from Deliverance that came to be known as Dueling Banjos. Smith would lead a number of bands over the years, but one musician who knew him better than most is his son, Clay. I was always in awe. You know, he had a talent that you just can't duplicate. I mean, a God-given talent that he could play any fretboard. Well, it's a good morning, Smith's morning show on WBTV with his legendary band, the Cracker Jacks, was a big draw and offer the stuff many in this region were raised on. He was a great musician. Arthur Smith was a fantastic musician. The man could read music, he could play music, he played a trumpet. Arthur was the smart one, he put his name on that. That's kind of like Hootie and the Blowfish. You don't remember the Blowfish, but you remember Hootie. He was also known for being a savvy businessman, and the building that housed the Studio East on Monroe Road was the home of Arthur Smith Studios. It was the place where he recorded James Brown's Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. Tim Eaton bought the business from Smith in 1985. It was just uh, probably uh, the, the, the most major impact in the music industry that uh, we have seen regionally and, uh, and had a lot of national exposure too. For his family and friends, it is a deep loss. And to the legion of admirers, the music lives on through such an amazing legacy. He was a giant in the industry, but you know what? He was a great father. Right early in the program, we won't Steve turn Crump, you over WBTV to the on your side. Airwaves, and as you know, here are the boys that saw.